Good morning, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce here. Um, I had reported yesterday, or I think it was either yesterday or the day before, that there were that, um, a group of scientists in New Zealand had found 40 strands, 40 strains of this virus. They found it in a lab that there were approximately about 40 different strains of this coronavirus. Well, right now, and this is off of Now the End Begins, there are now eight strands, eight strains of this circling the globe as we speak. Now, they found those strains in a in the lab, that there are actually 40 strains of this. But this right now is saying that they um, there is now eight different strains of the coronavirus um, circling the globe. I'm going to read this to you, and then I'm going to link the article in the description box. It says, it appears that COVID-19 is mutating rapidly, and this could explain why the death tolls and the severity of the virus kept keep changing so rapidly. According to the new report from USA Today, at least eight strains of the coronavirus are making their way around the globe creating a trail of death and disease that scientists are tracking by their genet uh, genetic footprints. Now, today, I found out that Netanyahu is also contracted the uh, coronavirus. He's quarantining himself for 14 days, and I found out that uh, Trump is now no longer looking at Resurrection Day to send people back to work. He's going to extend the thing until uh, the end of of April, which tells me that the kids will probably, nine, I say nine times out of ten, be out of school for the rest of the year. Um, while much is unknown, hidden in the uh, virus's unique microscopic fragments are clues to the origins of its original strain, how it behaves as it mutates, and which strains are turning into uh, conflagrations, which others are dying out thanks to quarantine measures it says huddled in one huddled in once bustling and now almost empty labs researchers who oversaw dozens of projects are instead focused on one goal tracking the current strains of the SARS uh, COVID-2 virus that caused the illness COVID-19 labs around the world are turning their sequencing machines, most about the size of their desktop printers, to the task of rapidly sequencing uh, the genomes of virus samples taken from people sick with the virus. The information is uploaded on a website called nextstrain.org that shows how the virus is migrating and splitting into similar but new subtypes while researchers caution, they're only seeing the tip of the iceberg. The tiny differences between the virus strains suggest shelter-in-place orders are working if you can get people to do it. Shelter-in-place orders are working in some areas that no one strain of the virus is more deadly than another. So I'm going to leave this... Um, in the description box, I wanted to come on and let you know that that number one, this right here is circulating, and number two, uh, Netanyahu has been tested positive for it, and he's quarantining himself. And Trump decided to keep this in place until the end of April. So I wanted to give you that. So I'll be back on later with more. Thank you.